A lot of you who fly the tiny micro quadcopters that we can get now will be familiar with this type of plug called a micro loci plug that a lot of the batteries that these quadcopters use attach to the quadcopter with. Here's a couple of examples of batteries that use the plug. Now unfortunately some companies have adopted a different convention for the polarity of these plugs from others and so you can end up with a battery that's got the wrong polarity for your quad and if you connect it up you'll have disastrous results. So what I'm going to do today is show you how to change the polarity by reversing the wires into the plug. Um, it's a delicate operation and for it I'll need my magnifying glass because my eyes are not what they once were and a couple of pins. Now if you look closely at the back of this plug it's got two little metal tabs in it here and here and those are what hold the wires in and stop them from just pulling out uh, as soon as you exercise any pressure on them. Uh, they are bent up at, at this end and therefore they push against the plastic if you try to pull them out. What we need to do is bend them down again slightly so that we'll be able to pull the wire out. Now I'm only going to do it with one wire because if you've seen me do it with one wire it'll be exactly the same as with the other and I don't actually want to change the polarity of this plug. I'm just doing this as a demonstration. So I'm going to use this pin here that I can grip well because it's got a bit of a handle on it to press down the plug on the red wire, wire to press down the tab on the red wire. And I'm just going to have a look at it with my magnifying glass to see where it is. There it is. So I press it down. I pressed it down and out it comes. Now I pressed fairly hard. If you do this really gently, they tell me that you can press it down just enough so that it will pop back up again as soon as you take the wire out. I'm usually not successful in doing that and I have to use another pin to pry it back up again so that it will work. And you can also push in from the pin end. Now if you look at it from the side you can see that it's back in position again. iPhone probably won't focus well enough to do that to show you that but it is and so I can push it back into the plug. There, it's pretty firmly held now, so it's not a problem. But as you can see, it was tricky to do. But after you've done two or three, you get better at it, I'd have to say. I haven't done any for a while. 